and welcome to video tutorial 12. In this tutorial we're looking at uh, using video in EasySketch Pro. Uh, we've already seen how to use images and text and the third type of object is video. Uh, it's remarkably straightforward to put, add video into a uh, project. Uh, you just come up here to this uh, film reel icon. If you hover over it it says add video. If we click on it it opens the video settings box. Uh, there are three ways we can use video in EasySketch Pro. We can add it as a video element or an object just like text uh, or images. Uh, we can do sketch to live video and we can add video as a background. Let's uh, leave it on the default of the moment of add a video element. We now have to browse to find our video clip. It has to obviously be on your computer uh, in order to be used. Um, I'll use this short one here. Uh, you navigate uh, to where your video is, uh, you either double click on it or click on it to select and click on open and then you click on OK and you'll see that EasySketch Pro is processing the video. Uh, once it's finished processing the video and, and remember when it's processing the video um, in the bottom right hand corner you'll have a message saying it's doing that and you can't do anything else, you have to wait till the uh, video finishes processing. Uh, obviously the longer the video the longer it's going to take to process and I would say that um, video clips should be just that really an easy sketch pro uh, you don't want feature length presentations or anything like that if you did then why would you have them in easy sketch pro this is for uh, like any other object really you really want short duration videos besides um, if you have the longer the video the longer the processing um, or the, the greater the processing uh, power required so you may find if you try to use uh, too long a video then you, you start getting problems but anyway uh, when you load the video as an object or element uh, by default it occupies the whole canvas but just as any other object you can double click on it and you'll see the four dots appearing around the corners and we can click on that and drag in and out and we can rotate just as we could with images and text and similarly we can click anywhere on the object hold the mouse key the, the mouse button down and we can drag it around the canvas like so and then if we want to play we just play I should say that you you won't hear you probably won't hear the um, the sound of the video because I'm using the microphone and it's not geared up to record the sound off the PC itself so you press play if anybody um, recognises this, this is the famous opening scene from the uh, best worst film ever made, Plan 9 from Outer Space. Uh, but anyway, great film. Uh, so that's it. So you've now added uh, a video. You can add uh, other elements in the normal way. So we could, let's go to, uh, where are we? Let's go to Sketch Rockwell and we'll have uh, ooh, 40 and we could say something like um, Criswell predicts and OK and that will get added to the canvas and the video is number one because it's the first item on the canvas the text is now number two if we press play the video will play a shame you can't hear his immortal words Uh, when it's finished then we move on to the text element and so on you just uh, build it into your project like any other object okay just as uh, with any other object we can uh, right click on a video uh, notice it's request focus because it's the first uh, object on the canvas uh, we can duplicate the video if we wish might take a little while while it thinks about it um, but then you can actually have the two, I won't do it because it takes too long, but then you have the uh, video playing, this happening, and then the video playing again. So we'll get rid of that. Um, you can delete it, you can order it up or order it down in the same way as other objects. Copy and paste the settings. You can even uh, flip it horizontally um, and flip it vertically if you want. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. Let's put him back the way he was. Uh, and then you've got the, the properties. Now 
some of these properties, uh, animation effects you can use and some you can't. Uh, the default is draw by hand for showing video and uh, clearly it's not actually drawing it by hand but that's uh, there is no equivalent to draw, draw by hand with video. So um, the v default draw by hand uh, and half a second and then it just basically uh, plays the video. Um, some of these other options do work. I mean do nothing will just make the video appear in the same way as draw by hand. Uh, draw is the same as draw by hand, same effect. Um, dragging and dragging by hand you can use. So if we click on dragging by hand, come from the bottom right and let's make that two seconds and let's apply that. Okay and click play. We can see the hand does bring in the video and then it starts to play. So you can use drag in uh, as an option and uh, the uh, the exit options, um, the only exit option you can really use uh, effectively is fade out. So uh, drag out doesn't work with video although that may in the future. Um, if you click on fade out for example and let's have that uh, as a second and then apply that OK then the video will be dragged on to the screen it will play the video plays and then it disappears so uh, it fades out so you can use at the moment uh, as I say you can use um, uh, dragging by hand, uh, do nothing, draw, draw by hand. Fade in doesn't really work uh, very well at the moment as far as I can see. Um, but these options will no doubt be extended in the future. In terms of exit, fade out is the only one that really works. Uh, if you use drag out you get some weird effects happening. So uh, by the time you watch this tutorial that may well have changed so do try it. But at the moment uh, that needs that he's working on. Um, OK, uh, we have similar uh, settings here for delay before, pause, <coughs> fading has no effect because obviously it's not colouring anything in. Um, delay after, in fact if you set fading uh, that will delay the showing of the video at the moment so always keep fading at zero. And then you've got your various exit uh, animation effects. OK, so um, basically play around with it. Um, it's really quite fun. You can actually have um, uh, in the middle of your presentation you could have, I don't know, a welcome message from you or something or a product demonstration and things like that. Just remember to to keep it short and try not to have too much video uh, in the project because it is going to uh, make it a big project that's going to struggle in the processing side of things. Okay, um, in, we'll, we'll end the video here but uh, we'll come back in the next video to look at uh, the next way you can use video in Easy Sketch Pro.